The signs were everywhere. Right from the very moment when we entered the roads in the Smoky Mountains, a bear was spotted. There he is. Oh, I got a shot of him, bro. Oh, no. Damn. Then, a few minutes later, a massive wildfire was spreading. You can see the smoke. Uh, we're continuing on. Uh, literally, maybe five more minutes later. We right, there's like a fire. There's a wildfire going on. see it right now. Wow. Later that night, it was about five times larger. Our cameras couldn't quite capture it. Yeah, all right, we've only been here like five minutes. These were signs of the troubles that were right in front of us. I'm about to die out here. <laughs> Right yeah, dude, there's this fires, is, this bears, is dude. This is us dangerous now. roads. We have a wildfire. There's no flames, though. We saw flames earlier. I think on the other side. I don't know. It's not. See some flames. Oh, well. Where are the flames? You're right. Woo! Let's yeah, I seen the I seen the flame too. Right, we're gonna hike up to the top of the smoke. How are they gonna take that? You see, our whole goal was to hike up a trail, find a place to pitch our hammocks between two trees at, and then have a relaxing time in our hammocks in front of the sunrise in the morning. Alright, I think we got everything. We are uh, about to set foot on the trail. Um, we got everything we could get to keep warm I'm about to get my head because out. it's pretty cold right now. You know what they say though, man makes plans, God laughs. Exactly. We took a big loss. Hey, we should probably be making noise, shouldn't we? What if there's a bear around the corner? The original trail I was going to take us on was where the wildfire was. The trail was shut down. This just hit me like how awesome this is, dude. We had to go on a trail that we were not familiar with. Oh, oh my god. Alright. Oh my gosh, man. We wanted to get high enough to where there were not many trees so we can have a nice view of the skyline and where the sunrise would be. Oh, we've been walking for like, what, like 25 minutes now? Yeah. And uh, it's just getting better and better as the trail goes on. Because when you get higher up, there's not as much mountains as you keep going. And uh, we, we're, we're seeing some really nice views. So we're going to try to find a spot where there's a nice view. And maybe where it's angled at to where the sun's going to rise. And then we left our blankets and pillows and stuff back at the car. But we don't think we're going to go back. If you fall... Yeah, you're down there. You're down there. <laughs> if you fall one little slip. What if there's a waterfall? There you go. Kind of post up right here for a little bit. <sighs> no. Let's just keep going, bro. This is sick. On the way, we ran into something. At first, we thought it was a bear. But thankfully, it turned out to just be a buck. That's a buck up there. Yeah, don't even buck with it. Because it charges up. It's no. like a nice natural bench there. Oh my goodness, I almost died. <sighs> Where's the food at? <laughs> For real, I need a granola bar, mate. Okay, we came off the trail. Uh, we found a decent spot. Uh, it's getting really dark really fast though. So you want to keep going down farther this a little bit, just in case. Alright, we're starting to get hope. It's, it's getting really, really dark really quick, but this is going really high up and I think... might be the summit up here. Gavin's traveling up there to check it out for us right now. Uh, I mean, it's going up really high really quick, so I really think this is the summit, honestly, dude. Like, I really do. What's it looking like? I can't hear him. Yes! Is it the summit? Oh my god, let's go! Whoa! You see, 
The higher you go on a mountain, one of two things should happen. One, you hit the summit, the very top of a mountain, where you get an amazing view of everything, and there's hardly any trees. Or, two, you get high enough where there is no trees, even with not hitting a summit. I was pretty sure one of these things would happen. I was wrong. Neither happened. And it was getting dark. Very fast. And we started seeing signs of bears. Alright, it's getting really dark. And we haven't found a spot yet. <laughs> we still don't have a fucking spot. We don't have a spot. The trees didn't clear up like we wanted it to, but we're gonna fucking find a spot no matter what. I have to admit, our ego got in the way of our safety. We were 6,000 feet high up in a mountain, no cell phone reception, nobody at all knew where we were. It dropped down to about 10 degrees with windshield. It's like pitch dark, we can't really see anything. Here's Gavin, snuggled up. He, uh, he doesn't really- We were just hoping no animals or bears would sniff out our food in our backpacks. We only had one flashlight and barely enough warm apparel. We didn't think these conditions would be this bad. No, bro, it's not fucking going in. Here. My hand's so fucking cold, it's cramping. Whew. Can't get it. Oh, come on. <laughs> we got our hammocks up, and we finally settled in. Here's my uh, hammock. Here's Micah's hammock. We're about to jump in here. Here's our bags. Take our bags up. Trip. Then something very, very, very odd happened. As we were laying in our hammocks, a man seemed to appear out of nowhere. Almost like our guardian angel disguised as a human. He had troubling information. <laughs> we, uh, we were literally getting settled in, about to fall asleep. And then this guy came um, with his, like, headlight on. What's your name? Well, part of the Appalachian Trail culture is we, uh, we have trail names. It kind of distinguishes you from, I guess, your real life societal self in a sense. Uh -huh. I go by the kid. Just because I came out here on a whim, drove a rental car right up to Maine, parked it, and figured out the logistics from there. Didn't even know what a white blaze was in the Appalachian Trail. Wow. And just started hiking my way down. Um, due to the, the whole being on a whim and the whole random ambition and curiosity of things, I got the name the kid from some other hikers. That's, That's awesome, cool. dude. So he hiked all the way from Maine. To Tennessee now. Yeah, not too much further from the ending point, maybe about 200 miles or so from Springer Mountain, Georgia, and we'll be done. Wow. That's the finish line. That's really cool. Wow, man. So, uh, he also notified us just about a lot of the bear activity around here and about how we could get paid a hefty fine of a uh, park ranger. Which is pretty unlikely. Park that ranger comes up. Yeah. yeah. And so we're just deciding just to kind of just. Go what about back. any other animals do you know about other than bears? Uh, I mean, some people will say you still got mountain lions around here. That's what I thought. Um, I wouldn't be overly concerned about that. They're probably super skittish if there are any. Um, as I was telling these guys, there's a ridiculous amount of bear scat on the trail here, more than I've seen anywhere else oh on my the God. trail. Of course. <laughs> um, so I can't blame these guys for, for moving on out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty ballsy in the first place, and then the professional comes here and tells you could very well be our savior. Honestly, <laughs> I'm Yo, not even we kidding have you. Died. Like, wow. You just sent him. Okay. You guys are this guy bears. probably saved us from some serious danger. He said he started all the way in the state of Maine. You see, the Appalachian Trail starts at Maine and ends in Georgia, and he was pretty close to the end to where it crosses Tennessee. This is a 2,000 mile long trail. And, the, and this guy says he's been hiking all of this by himself. Here we are, uh, we're heading back. One of two things. This guy's an angel, or he's just a badass. Yeah, too much, but um, it's yeah, it's about an hour and a half to get back down to our car. It's pitched we made our way back down the trail. The two hour long trail, with one flashlight and a cell phone light. We were terrified. We all fell many times. Oh my god. Ah! I gotta keep the low. Hang on, hang on, I'm vlogging. We made it back. And um. What's up? Oh, 
shop. <laughs> Probably the sickest thing we've ever done. Like, just the other, it was so dangerous, but it was also just like such an experience. I don't know. Dude, it was. I can't even awesome. comprehend. I, I just need to let it soak in. I can't even think oh about it right now. Gosh, We're really hungry. Um, I can't believe I'm not more hungry. To be honest. That sucked to be a park. Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, man. We out here. Hey, I actually guys, wanted man. to talk about something really weird uh, before you cut this off. Um, that guy that we found on top of the mountain, we just thought that was so weird. We were talking about it in the car, and uh, I was actually about to record it, but um, it was just so weird because me and, me and Gavin were in the same hammock, and then I was just looking a little bit to my left, and then out of nowhere I saw like a light come down the trail. And I was like, what the hell? I was like really confused. And then he just came out of nowhere, it seemed like. And then he just kind of, I don't know, he's just kind of odd. And he was like freaking, he said he just came from all the way from Maine. And uh, we we're just like, God, what if he was just like our savior? You know, like, it was so weird. And then he was talking to us a little bit. Um, and he's like, all right, I gotta go. And he's like, seemed like seemingly in a hurry. It was like the weirdest thing. I really feel like it was like something there. Like he saved our lives, could have died from a bear, got froze to death, got to fell out of hammock. And, because he did um, tell us. You, you're not even recording. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. he did tell us about, like, we were already kind of worried about the bears, but he told us how serious they really are and how many signs there really were for them to be around and stuff like that. And as I mentioned, he mentioned there are possibly mountain lions around too. So, yeah. So now we're just walking around town and uh, we were planning on being up in the mountains sleeping right now, but now we don't really know what to do. We're just kind of walking around and explore a little bit. I mean, I already know these parts, but these gentlemen are just exploring, I guess. Oh! <laughs>